This is telemedicine, the use of web-enabled technology to deliver remote health care. There is almost nothing which telemedicine cannot do. I have personally carried out about 1,300 neurological teleconsults in the last 12-13 years. But can the lessons learned by India's telemedicine pioneers be applied elsewhere? Kana Tapalayam in rural Tamil Nadu is like many of the more than 600,000 villages across India. There is no hospital, no clinic, and only the most basic pharmacy. It has 2,000 residents and now one high-speed internet connection. It is one of 60,000 common service centers that the government of India has set up across the country. Set up as public-private partnerships, the government gives loans, equipment, and broadband internet connections to local entrepreneurs, who are then tasked with providing a range of digital services, which include sending emails, making digital copies of documents, and now, online healthcare. On the other end of the line is the telemedicine operations center of the Apollo Group in Chennai, a city of 4 million. The Apollo Group is India's market leader and the third largest private medical group in the world. Apollo's telemedicine operation is run by Dr. Krishnan Ganapati, one of India's leading neurosurgeons and now an advocate of telemedicine. 16 years ago when I ventured into telemedicine, it was considered as something which is just not possible to do. Today, I'm convinced that telemedicine is the future. During Apollo Group teleconsultations, the local village entrepreneur serves as medical technician, at times assisted by a local village doctor. You do not require an MD to put a stethoscope on somebody's chest. A school dropout can do it. The operator enters the basic data, the name of the patient, etc., the symptoms and signs, basic things like that. And through the internet connection, it is sent to the primary center where the doctor reviews the entire data. It currently offers a range of services, beginning with basic digital consultations for 100 rupees, or about $1.60 US. These serve as a sort of digital triage, effectively dealing with many basic problems. We have done about 93,000 teleconsultations in 25 different specialties. I don't think more than 5%, maybe 10% max, would have had the necessity to escalate to and come to a secondary center for further investigations. But for Apollo's plans to work, they must move beyond simple consultations and begin to sell more advanced and expensive services to rural Indians. They will be filling a current void in India's health coverage. For rural families, there are very few options that they would have. The primary health care clinic that they can access is probably going to be only good to treat infectious diseases. And as we all know, non-communicable diseases like cancer, diabetes, hypertension are some of the biggest challenges. And poor people suffer from them as much as rich people. Young Prasant Singh is, like his father, a farmer. He is also a digital client for Apollo's more expensive and advanced service offerings, a teleconsultation with Dr. Ganapati. Prasant began noticing strange problems in his hands almost two years ago. As his symptoms worsened, Prasan and his family were faced with few options, a situation typical of many rural Indians. In rural areas, you have a range of services available, and they're all, I would call, dysfunctional and often very, very patchy. You first go to a local quack. You may go to a traditional healer. And then as you feel that he's not able to cure you, you move increasingly to a government dispensary. So the out-of-pocket expenditures are huge. And this leads to families that fall below the poverty line. 
His family finally, at great expense, sent him to a government hospital five hours drive away, where he was able to get an MRI scan, but he was not able to afford follow-up care or get it analyzed. Prasant has come here today to use one of the premium telemedicine services that Apollo offers. It will cost him 900 rupees, or about 14 US dollars. The session begins as all Apollo sessions do, with an electronic patient profile. The local village level assistant plays the role of nurse, entering electronic information and uploading the MRI that Prasant had done months before at a government hospital. A neurological examination is probably the simplest and the easiest to do via telemedicine. Sir, Mr. Prasant. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Dr. Ganapati performs the same tests he would in a face-to-face -face consultation good. in his office in Chennai. Very good. I ask the patient to poke himself with a pin and on a camera I can, based on his facial expression, or whether he winces or not, and subjectively I ask him whether he is able to feel it or not, etc. I am able to do. Very good. Please focus the camera on both hands. Ah, I can see a definite wasting on both sides. Now do like this. The physical exam indicates that Prasant suffers from an advanced case of myelomalacia. In examining his MRI, Dr. Kanapati is able to confirm the diagnosis. Sir, thank you, sir. For Prasant and his family, the good news is that the disease has reached a mature state and it will not degenerate further. With proper care and a physical therapy regime, Prasant will be able to live a normal life. With the advancement of India's Digital India campaign, the Apollo Group hopes to expand its reach across rural India. 60,000 common service centers are going to be made available to the Apollo Telemedicine Department so that every citizen in these 60,000 villages have access to remote health care. The Apollo Group is also refining its business model adding free public health sessions, which are broadcast across the network. These sessions serve both to educate and also to inform people about the possibilities of remotely accessing Apollo's famous and sophisticated health services. For Dr. Kanapati, there is no turning back on the process they have begun. Technology should not be an end in itself. It should be a means to achieve an end. It's our dream that over the next couple of years, the healthcare in rural India would be radically transformed using cutting-edge technology.